All right, today I'm, I'm doing a comparison video of my 1970 Guild Mark 7, and I'm comparing it today to a, a Gibson C500 Master Series, a wonderful guitar as well. They're very similar in, in um, detail. Uh, the Guild Mark Series uh, consisted of a Mark 1 through a Mark 7. Check my YouTube videos out for the history of the Guild Classical Guitars. I did a presentation on all the models, but uh, the first three, the Mark 1, 2, and 3, were typically the student models. The 4, 5, and 6, and 7 were the more fancy models because of the tone woods. And today I'm comparing this very rare model, the Mark 7. They only made 10 of them uh, out of this very rare uh, Brazilian rosewood. Um, so I'm going to compare this model today to a Gibson C500. Now I believe the C500 is made out of cedar, solid cedar on the top. And I think this back wood is Brazilian rosewood that's laminated. I don't believe it's solid. I, I've checked, I've looked, I've talked to people, read articles. I can't tell for sure if this is solid uh, rosewood back in size, but it's definitely beautiful. Plays wonderful and it's wood bound, just like the Mark 7 of, of, was wood bound as well. They both have ebony fretboards, inlays in the saddle and tie block there. Uh, the tie block has abalone in it, and on this one it has ivory and abalone in it as well. They're both very similar in scale lengths, and this is the original tuners for the Gibson C500. Again, this is a beautiful guitar, um, beautiful classical guitar, and again, here's the uh, tuners for the Mark 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play them both, see if you can tell a difference. They're both heavy. Uh, this one weighs about four, the Gibson weighs about four pounds, and the, uh, the Guild Mark 7 weighs about three and a half pounds. And I believe um, um, it's a little bit thinner as well. This is like four inches, where that one's about four and a quarter inches. But let me play, let me play them for you. They both have the same strings. And this body is a little bit wider, it's like four and a quarter inches down here. Heavier, heavier box. It was the top of the line of the Master Series. They made a Master Series C100, 200, 300, 400, and a 500. I had a 300 and a 400 before this one. And I actually liked the C400 the best of all three of them. But they're still uh, just a little bit better. It, was a little, it sounded just a little bit different. But uh, this one's beautiful. Just a little bit different player than the other two that I had. series C300, 400, and 500 all had this beautiful rosette. <clears throat> Again, the scale length on this is 26 and a quarter inches. And so is it, it's, it's identical to the C, the, the Mark 7 from Gill. I don't know if they were trying to compete with Gill at the time. I know they had some other models, big inner models for Gibson, C1, C2, C3, I actually own a C4 at one point. They have a Richard Pick model C6, but I'm biased towards the gills. So. But this is a nice guitar, perfect for a player, a beginner player, or a, you know, like me, a so obvious. All right, I'll do that to the, the Mark 7. See if you like. Tell me what you like better. If you have an opinion.
do the same thing on the other. See what you think. Comparison video of a Guild Mark 7 right here against a, a Gibson C500. Both are fairly rare models from each manufacturer. Guild only made 10 Mark 7s, and Gibson made less than 30 of these, I believe, over the years. And this one was made in 1972, I should have said. This is a C500 from Gibson, made in 1972, and this is a Guild Mark 7 made in 1970. Thanks a lot.